little guy. Oh, my God. Oh, my I'm not sure what I'm saying. 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 I'm yeah, can you play fucking two games? Bro, how much you got at Legend account for? I'm trying to get one, bro. Bro, why are you trying to guard my man? Like, I have my man. He said he wants you to remember it. It's supposed to be your moment. This supposed to be your moment. This supposed to be your moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest 2K player in existence, my boy. Now look, listen up. We got some more 2K22 news, man. About this battle pass, man. The battle pass, everyone thinks it's going to cost this, that. You know, I found some new information for y'all that, that, that I'm sure you'll like. I mean, th this is coming from the developers themselves, man. And, and a lot of more 2K... 22 news so make sure y'all watch this full goddamn video and subscribe if you are new it's free help a nigga grow hit the like button it's free help a nigga grow you feel me and turn on them post notice so look first i want to show y'all this shit right here you know 2k intel you tweeting these lame ass screenshots i don't know if this game's out <laughs> like these hoes is terrible quality my boy you gotta tighten up my boy so look, he says 2K has made a battle pass for their golf game before. I would expect something similar for NBA 2K20. And you know 2K, they a lazy ass shit company, my nigga. So you, <laughs> he damn right. Like, look, 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 look at this. This is a shitty ass. So, I mean, it, it's making sense. Like, it's blurry or something. <laughs> like, bro, you could have got some high quality. Like, this game gotta be out, like divine golf season i can't even read this shit like like bro it's 2021 clubhouse pass like probably with the season shit and all that type of shit it's gonna be like y'all y'all know how they do that shit but like you have to pay to like you can pay to like get to the end well i got new information man i'm gonna i'm gonna go over that later in this video but we gonna go over this article right here man so so executive producer Eric Bo, whatever the fuck his last name, he says, we have two unique experiences again this year. We made two brand new games again. That's something that I feel really solid about. It worked really well for us last year. I bet it did, my boy, in them pockets. I bet it did. Our fans read it resonated with the different experiences they could play. So this basically means to me, how I interpret it is that from years to come, they're going to keep doubling up because it seemed like everyone who get next is going to get current and they keep having different type of features. You know, it's like niggas is buying two different games every year. I don't know how long this is going to last. Like, do, do y'all think they're going to like stay with this? Like, that's crazy. Like, do other games do that? Like all like every year, a different game for current and next? Or y'all think they'll just stay with it till the drought is over with the PS5s? Y'all let me know down in the comments and which you prefer. So Mike Wang is saying everything is going to be more skill based to jump shooting, dunking in traffic, pulling off alley-oops. So hopefully that means alley-oops is nerfed. Um, cause them shits barely happen, my boy. And in, in 2K, that shit like every... F <laughs> I don't know, bro. But, um, more skill base along with new signature moves and combos to break defenders off the dribble. Let's hope so. Mike Wang says, if you don't make the right play, then it's going to be on you. I mean, that, that sounds promising, man. I hope so. 
He's saying elite defenders should make much more of an impact. Being able to play suffocating defense on the perimeter. That is one of the biggest flaws of 2K since 2K16 perimeter defense has been terrible, bro. Terrible. And then when he say, all the things you do in the game, they're a lot more skill-based. Let's, let's pray. Humo, guay, guay. <laughs> What you come away with is an experience that just feels a lot more rewarding. Michelle Wang is saying this. Michelle motherfucking Wang. We gonna see. I hope so. Y'all let me know what y'all think the defense is gonna be uh, in 2K22, man. So listen to this, man. This is the, the biggest news of the motherfucking video. Make sure y'all share my videos and, and follow me on all my socials. And check out all my other videos. They're hilarious. But says seasons are going game wide. Seasons are back and they're expanding. They are going game wide and will be making their way into other modes beyond my team. Visual concept says to expect more content rewards and more ways to play. It's free for all NBA 2K22 gamers. There's no pay no battle pass this is all free content the bonish guy confirmed so they're saying that it's going to be free you know when you have to like pay and i don't really know how battle passes work um i mean i guess with some battle passes you have to pay to even activate it is that how it works y'all educate me down below um and i know like in fortnite that you people would just buy through because it was just so much but i think this is an excellent idea overall it's just something new just rewards like hopefully it's just not arm sleeves and stupid shit. here's my idea right with fortnite okay i've been thinking about this i've been saying this man i've been saying this for years 2k needs to fucking fuck mascots bro they need to make skins and I think with them introducing the battle pass shit, there might be skins, bro. There literally might be skins in these battle passes, like at the end or somewhere in the middle. And like you get to like put on a little fucking like, uh, like you know the the, the, the mascots. And then th that's why you could buy through. But they're saying you can't. Um, maybe they're stupid. I don't know. Uh, it, you know how 2K is with them little shady practices. I, I, I think they'll probably make it a way to where you could buy through because a lot of people ain't going to be grinding for it. But um, I don't know, man. I think I think skins is definitely a possibility with them saying this battle pass shit and, you know, the battle pass being in the golf shit. You know, I really do think, you know, hopefully they get some cool things, partner with other companies and just like how Fortnite does it. It's beautiful. It's a third person game right y'all niggas really want to make money do that shit you feel me that that makes more content for us youtubers you know like oh i dropped off a, a naruto <laughs> you know like and you know it gives people more incentive to play y'all let me know how y'all feel about that like the different skins people buy they made for fortune off that why wouldn't 2k replicate that you know, you, you're just going to stay with the same mascots. Like, I'm telling you, this, like, development team is fucking stupid, bro. Like, they should have been added that in. I don't even know if they're going to do that, bro. It seem, it sounds too good to be true, to be honest to me. Like, you know you know how much money Fortnite made because of that third person, the skins and shit? They could do the same for 2K, bro. And it would, like, they, like it would be on a smaller scale because it's not as big as a game. But like, bro, like niggas would buy niggas niggas buy VC to level up their guy. You don't think niggas want to look cool? Like, bro, look look on YouTube. Drippy face scans, best drippy face scan is always drip. Best drippy outfits is always like there are hundreds of thousands of views. Like it's crazy as fuck. Like 300k, 400k. Like people like that little weird shit. I don't know, bro. Whatever, man. Um, it's more content really guys to be honest i don't care about none of this shit like it's just it's cool um all i want is a popping game and i want immaculate gameplay all i really care about is gameplay i'm just talking about this shit for y'all because y'all always gonna ask my opinion anyways so you know might as well make a video about it so 
he also says it's going to be playable in my team on both gens it's going to be playable on my career mode on both gens and also on the w on the next gen console so i guess the battle pass is only going to be on the next gen um or the w thing i don't think the w is even on uh last gen uh by the way guys current gen is the ps5 is the next generation console and last gen is uh the p the playstation 4s and xbox you know we're saying it wrong you know current gen is not is not <laughs> current gen is the next generation consoles and last gen is not current bro you know we gotta spread this the 2k community is being stupid bro like i know like y'all niggas is slow but we gotta we gotta upgrade this shit man spread the word make sure y'all follow me on twitter and he says this brings more constant more rewards more ways to play for gamers all year nba 2k22 will also introduce a new way to level up your mind player and earn prizes via the neighborhood one thing i will say a little nugget for you guys is season modes and my season mode in my career really gives an opportunity for us to kind of change the archaic rep system and how it's worked for many years in the neighborhood oh this is sounding like a red flag and in the city last year we'll find out more about this in late august man it's sounding ass so it's looking like they finna bring rep back so the reason i don't like this bro is because um like if they make the rep not just playing like games of park and you know online versus other people here's what it's going to create it's going to create a lot of people cheating in the like the, like for instance in 18 it was trash because all the good people that were going for legend they weren't playing park right like so no one would stream park like they weren't really dropping park videos because they're in such a race to be first legend right so the viewership of the game wasn't you know it was struggling because no one would be streaming their grind in the park they would be streaming their grind in my career and if they really had a method they wouldn't even stream that right they wouldn't even stream so a bunch of top streamers or people like streaming like the rep, they would be just playing offline and have a bunch of people on their accounts and then come out of nowhere like, I did it, oh, da, 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 you know? And and claim it's all them, which any top rep, if they're in anywhere in the making, they have a team, bro. Don't be fooled by these niggas. Don't say they over here out grinding. Man, them niggas is playing half a day, max. And they got other niggas covering the other days. Don't be fucking stupid. I don't know why y'all even be praising these rep niggas. But basically, like, for the first three months, like, a lot of content creators aren't going to be playing. And then at the same time, it's good because then, you know, there's a lot of top rep old heads that's going to be trash. <laughs> and, um, you know, that's good for videos. But, like, it's a, it's, it's, it's just, it's just different. I'm not a, I'm not a top rep type of nigga. So it doesn't really bother me, but I view it from a just overall perspective like y'all know like the glidey the the g size the fucking whoever else right like whoever's going for top rep if it's like my career shit or like some type of like doing all these weird shit that's not like gameplay like people aren't gonna watch that that shit so it's not it's it just fucks up the viewership if you were a content creator you would understand right it's it's much better for the viewership to be where you get the most rep in the competitive mode right where you play in the park on twos or threes and it just makes people fall in love with what the game's really about if it's if the highest thing for the rep people aren't going really they're gonna be like man this is lame i don't really care oh uh, you know they're not gonna really respect it but they're gonna respect you beat a nigga's ass on hella streaks and like the matchmaking like hella streaks it's overall better for the game. That whole computer shit is like, I don't, I'm trying to, I know, but I know a lot of y'all, y'all want the rep. Like y'all want to get as much rep as possible. You don't really care about that. But I'm saying for the longevity of the game, for creators, the views, 
for the company, shit like that. So, I mean, y'all probably don't give a fuck. It don't bother you. Like, you, you, you know, you just play to have fun. So, I'm just saying from my perspective and... Yeah, y'all let me know if y'all understand. So basically, for current gen, the cruise ship will dock at exotic destinations throughout each season with special shoreside events. So for the cruise ship for current gen, man, the cruise ship will dock at exotic destinations throughout each season with special shoreside events to keep things interesting. And it'll be populated with a bunch of NPCs to make it feel alive and interactive new quest system, new ways to level up, earn rewards, and they'll be going into more specifics later. Matchmaking options for the city should give players quicker alternatives for getting into the games with special buildings designated for this feature. The matchmaking will be available for a number of game types. I don't know what they mean by that. And it'll contribute to all my player progression. And they also say, affiliation still exist confirmed leaked did y'all know that i didn't know <laughs> and they'll be bigger than ever so they're gonna stay in the game hopefully these idiots you guys have to mobilize on twitter mobilize on twitter mobilize on twitter man tell them we want affiliations to still be in the game but all you gotta do is make it to where you get the same rep in any affiliation it's that simple when they make it to where i'm gonna break it down to y'all i know a lot of y'all are fucking stupid right when you make it to where you get less rep by going in another affiliation you then make people split right because now everyone is only going to want to play in their affiliation and then no one's going to want to play together right unless someone's like a content creator or they're just bored but overall most people are only going to want to play with people in that affiliation which is stupid it should be the same across the board i remember in one of the years you could only play with your affiliation you couldn't play with another affiliation and then they finally fixed it because i i like ranted od now you can play whatever or not now but back then then you could play with other affiliations and now these idiots are making it to where you only want to play with your affiliate it should be the same across the board so people play with whoever they want and they just rep their affiliation who cares bro and then you have the little rival days and shit but don't make it to where you earn 50 percent less rep if you're in someone else's fucking affiliation that's stupid bro there's no point and y'all gotta vocalize on twitter at the 2k niggas at the little the faces of the 2k the little ronnies the gameplay developers you gotta do it it's the only way to for change and it gotta be constant my boy every post they make and they saying rookieville is gone man you won't have to be spending games grinding in rookieville to access the city rookieville was a good experiment for us he said I enjoyed it for what it was, but at the end of the day, I didn't feel like it added to the game what we set out for. So there is no rookie villain 2K22. You start as a fresh-faced kid in the city. Guess what? The one thing good about Rookieville is it was a dedicated park server. If every park was like that, that shit. Would, everyone's just there to play the game. That was that was that was the, like the only lit thing about it. So with the my career on the new gen. They saying they really tore down the wall between the city and my career. Your my career takes place in the city. You'll be using the new quest engine we made as a part of the my career experience. Your house, it's going to start off really simple. Your house becomes bigger and bigger until you get the penthouse in the sky. But the whole point is you're living in the city with tons of people who are on their careers as well. So guess we get a penthouse in the sky this shit sound man this shit sound like it's gonna be laggy as hell latency of hell bro i remember like the first two months man y'all couldn't fix the lag like can y'all even do this it's a next generation console y'all gotta get your shit straight bro i ain't going home y'all can't handle background building this shit. as your player makes a name for themselves they can pursue side ventures here such as entering the fashion world or getting involved in the hip-hop business you will also watch your home base grow with your ambition and success right in the city. What we're doing this year is we really tore down the wall between the city and my career. They are one. 
Your My Career takes place in the city. You'll be using the new questing engine we made as a part of the new My Career experience. Your house is going to start off really simple. And as you kind of play along in your career, your house becomes bigger and bigger until you get the penthouse in the sky. Lead, lead, lead. But the whole point is you're living in the city with tons of other people who are on their careers as well. You're just interacting with all of these people pushing along your objective. Lag City, boy? Man, they took like two months. They took like two months to fix that just because the background. How are they going to handle this? I know it's a next generation console, but y'all, like 2K niggas is ass. Like, how in the fuck are y'all going to handle all this shit, y'all? This sounds like, like it's not even real. Doesn't this like not sound real to you, niggas? But um, there, there, there's a little more, man. When we asked if we would get an authored cinematic story like the past, the gameplay director says, from wherever we start, you to ultimately where you want to end up. That's different for so many people. That's an NBA champion, or that is making it to the NBA, or that is making it to the Hall of Fame. There's so many ways you can choose, but without giving too much away, they talk about all this wall shit but anyways they say these cinematics man they talking about cinematics bro like damn nigga like lag city unskippable cutscenes return leak 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 <laughs> i hope not if you want to call it that in real time in the city as you are going about your story you're going to visit your agent's house you're going to the Nike facility to have your negotiations in the environment there. You're moving about your career in the city alongside many and many other players doing the same. Director, you can't talk right, man. I, I ain't gonna hold you, man. But I guess basically in real time, you're gonna be doing all this shit. Everyone gonna be doing real shit, all this shit, doing all this shit. Nah, 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 nah. I just wanna drop niggas off. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Y'all let me know if y'all are excited for this. But yeah, man, make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new. Turn on noties, my boy. Hit that like button. If you fuck with me, yeah, go watch my other hilarious or informative videos. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo. Off the top of the dome, dome.